Hey guys, so welcome back to our video series. In this video, we will look at imperfect markets. And imperfect markets consists of monopolies, oligopolies, and monopolistic competition. We will look at each of these, looking at definitions and looking at characteristics and what makes up these imperfect markets. So stay tuned for more. Right, so let's get into imperfect markets. So what is an imperfect market? Well, an imperfect market is where we have no perfect conditions. There are one or a few sellers which sell different products and they have some sort of influence on the price of a product. And we split these up into three types. We have a monopoly, we have an oligopoly, and we also have a monopolistic competition. Now, in this video, we will look at each of these market structures. We will look at what they are and look at some characteristics as to what make up these markets. So, a monopoly is one where we have one business which dominates the market. And an example of a monopoly in South Africa is ESCOM, as they are the only suppliers of electricity. We then go on into an oligopoly. This is where we have a few businesses which dominate a market. So if we look at South Africa, we can use telecommunications and we use uh, MTN and Vodacom as examples as they are leading cellular networks in our country. And then monopolistic competition, this is where you have combined features of a monopoly as well as a perfect market. And some examples, we have Burger King and McDonald's as they sell very similar products at different prices. So then we're going to move on to monopolies and looking at what makes up this monopoly. So we look at some of its characteristics. So the number of businesses we said is we have one seller, one business, they are the one which is dominating the market. We look at the, the nature of the product, what kind of product do they sell? They sell a very unique product, one which has no close substitutes. We look at the market information and in a monopoly there's a lot or it's very clear as to what sort of trends are occurring, um, what sort of peaks are being seen and this is called full market information. The, well, we carry on with some more characteristics and we look at the entry and exit into a monopoly. It is a blocked um, system where you need some sort of license or permit to operate in this uh, market and it's very difficult to come by therefore it is blocked. The control of a price because they are the only supplier of a good they then have complete control over the price they're able to influence it therefore they are known as a price maker and looking at market power because they are the only business they have market power and they are able to exploit consumers so these are the characteristics these are the things that make up the monopoly market we then move on to an oligopoly so we said an oligopoly is where we have a few businesses which dominate the market and so we look at what makes up this market, the number of buyers and sellers, while well, we have few sellers and many buyers. So like we said, a few businesses that dominate the market and many people um, willing to buy their product. The market information, they have incomplete market information and this means that they don't know all of the trends that are occurring, they take it as it comes. We look at the nature of the product, what kind of product do they sell. So they sell the same product as their um, competitors 
or they excel differentiated products, meaning that it's very similar, very close, but it is still different. We look at entry and exit into the business. How does one come into this market? Well, yeah, there's varying stages. So depending on the type of market you want to enter into, or rather depending on the type of product you wish to serve, that will produce different levels of entry. And then control over price, they might not have as much control as a monopoly, but they do have more control over the price of a product than a perfect market. So this just illustrates what is made up or what makes up an oligopoly market. We then move on to the last uh, type of imperfect market, which is your monopolistic competition. And we said it's a market structure that combines certain features of both monopoly as well as perfect competition. So what makes up this market? Well, we look at the number of businesses. There are many businesses, many sellers, many buyers. What kind of products do they sell? They sell differentiated products, as we said earlier, is that it is very similar, it's not identical, um, but they serve very similar purposes. We look at the market information, it is also incomplete. We look at how we can enter or exit this market. It's free, it's easy to do so. And look at the control over the price. What kind of control do they have? They have very little control. And it's important to note that it means they still have some sort of control, but very little. So these are the three markets that we find within an imperfect market. And here we just look at a nice summary, a nice table where we can compare our perfect competition with our different imperfect markets. So that concludes our video on imperfect markets. I hope you learned something. I hope it was clear enough. Keep safe. See you guys soon.